Hi everyone. I hope this video finds you happy, healthy, and safe. If you're new here, my name is Rhonda with Rhonda's Craft Frenzy. I hope you like what you see, and if you do, think about subscribing to my channel. That would be awesome. If you're not new, thank you so much for coming back. You guys are everything. I appreciate all the support that you give me, and today I'm super excited to tell you, 300 subscribers strong. Yay! Super excited. Anyways, I'm going to continue with my farmhouse home decor. I hope you love it as much as I do. So I'm not going to talk anymore. I'll beat you to the craft table. For my first one today, I started with one of these welcome signs that has all those hearts stacked up. I scraped the glitter off one of those hearts. Then I used this contact paper that has a shiplap pattern on it, which I'm obsessed with. I just cut it to size and stuck it over the top of that heart. The next thing I did was string some beads on a piece of jute twine in a pattern and a size that I was happy with. I went with wood neutral colors. You could use any colors you want. I know that they have colored beads at Dollar Tree or you could paint them. Next, I thought the heart was a bit bare, so I used a farmhouse sticker from Dollar Tree just to give it a little bit more interest. Then I glued the string of beads to the back of my heart. You could make two hearts and cover up that back, but I wasn't too worried about it. I was placing it so the back wouldn't be seen anyway. I wanted a tassel on one end of my garland, so I used this jute one. I had made it for a planter at one time, and I didn't use it. If this is something you're interested in, let me know. I can show you how to put it together. I used a crochet hook and I pulled the jute through the end and tied it off. I added jute string around the outside of the heart just to frame it out using hot glue to hold it in place and that was it. It looks super cute on my tear tray and I hope you guys try one of your own. This might be my favorite one of the day. I started out with an oval wood sign. 
I think it was from Dollar Tree, but it could have been from Walmart. I've had it in my stash for quite some time. I painted it white, and this took two coats. The next thing I did was paint this cute chicken. I found this chicken in my supply stash and I was super excited to use it. I painted it black and again it took two coats. Once the oval part was dry, I used a black Arteza paint marker and I put lines through that oval because I wanted it to look shiplapped. Once those lines were all drawn out and it was dry, I went over it with ink colored chalk paint from Waverly. I wanted it to look a little bit weathered. I went over that entire surface just using a dry brush technique. Lastly, I added more beads to a piece of jute and I attached that string using the holes at the top of that oval section. That would be my hanger. Then using hot glue, I attached the chicken to the front and it was done. And I love this simple little piece so much. I hope you do too. Maybe I spoke too soon about my favorite because I love this little piece just as much as the last. I used a little wood box. It came from Dollar Tree. It had another box inside which I used in one of my previous Valentine's Day video. I just stained it with antique wax to start. Once that was dry, I used these square blocks that I got from the Dollar Tree as they would be the feet to my planner. I just glued each one on the corner and I did use hot glue but feel free to use wood glue if you want a longer hold. I always do this when I'm doing my videos because the hot glue dries so much quicker. I also used an image from my farmhouse calendar for the front of the planner. I just used a glue, stitch to, glue stick to attach it and then I put a coat of Mod Podge over that to seal it. I put some floral foam into the box and you can glue this into place but I was thinking that maybe I could have a dual use for it and I didn't want to do that.
the last thing I do was added a few pieces of pine and this was finished. I think it's super cute and I hope you all like it too. I have an extra bonus today for you all because I was celebrating my 300th subscriber. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. I appreciate it so much. I started out with this cute house shape sign and I painted it with Rust-Oleum linen colored chalk paint. And this took about three coats to cover over that dark writing. I had a Dollar Tree birdhouse in my stash and I painted the back and two sides with elephant color chalk paint from Waverly and then I used Waverly's ink color on the roof and the base. After it was dry, I used a 3D sticker that came from Dollar Tree out of my sticker collection and I stuck that on the back which would be the front of my birdhouse. Then I glued that birdhouse onto that house frame using hot glue for a more permanent hold. You probably would want to use wood glue, but for video purposes again and the dry time, I used hot glue. I glued it right to the bottom so it would be able to sit up on its own. Once it was in place and that glue was dry, I needed something for the top, so I used a rub-on transfer from Dollar Tree and I made a wreath out of it. I appreciate you spending your time here with me, and I hope you found some inspiration in my video. Please consider subscribing to my channel, and if you saw something you like, hit that thumbs up button. Don't be shy with those comments. I hope to see you next time, and until then, keep those glue guns at the ready.